The energy the junior gets from milk was in a contented cow 24 hours ago. And 24 hours before that, the same energy was in clover, which had absorbed it from sunlight that had come 93 million miles in eight minutes from the surface of the sun, but had taken 20 million years to find its way to the surface from the sun's central furnace. So you see the energy that makes Junior run, that makes a porpoise leap, and makes me talk so much. That energy is hydrogen that burned in your central furnace long, long before man walked the earth. You know, Brother Research, I'm beginning to like you. Do all the people know these things about me? No, that's why this program. What's the big hitch in the food problem? For one thing, chlorophyll is too slow. Take any acre of forest or vegetables. The amount of sunshine converted to plant food averages only two tons of vegetable matter per year. But if all the lights you send us could be used by chlorophyll, we could raise 2,000 tons of food per acre per year. A little chlorophyll may know the big secret, but he's awfully inefficient. Oh, oh, oh inefficient. I just make sugar. Can I help it if those silly trees build trunks and branches and roots out of it that you can't eat? What you're looking for is a plant that's all fruit. Oh, there is such a plant. All edible, too. And it multiplies faster than rabbits. But you scientists are too dumb to find it. There you are, Mr. Man. Find the plant. Oh, well, we found it already, Mr. Sun. Roll 10. Found it in freshwater lakes. A kind of green algae called chlorella. A tiny one-celled plant that has learned the mathematical trick of multiplying by dividing. Each cell gives birth to from four to 16 daughter cells, which all grow up and repeat the process. Chlorella contains fats, carbohydrates, and up to 50% proteins, and is all edible. All fruit, as Mr. Chlorophyll would say. All over the world, scientists are doing research on chlorella. In Japan, Dr. Hiroshi Tamiya of the Tokugawa Institute has done some of the most interesting and practical work. For there, food is definitely a problem. Into these troughs, water containing chlorella cultures is pumped. Nutrient salts are added. The troughs are covered with plastic sheeting to let in sunlight, while extra carbon dioxide is bubbled into the solution. When the culture becomes intensely green, the chlorella crop is harvested. After washing and drying, the fine powder looks like green flour. Mrs. Tamiya, wife of the director, has added this to regular flour and made excellent biscuits and cakes out of it. If these processes ever become practical, underfed populations may have a new, rich source of food. 